Advantage Trim and Lumber congratulates the 2012 Houses Awards Best Retirement Home Category winner. We are uh, outside of Morris Hill, North Carolina, and Morris Hill is a very small uh, town. We wanted to be in the mountains, but we didn't want to be on the top of a mountain. We wanted an area that was wool. Obviously, you know, the mountains were very attractive. Um, just the the whole atmosphere of this of this place. You know, it is very quiet somewhat secluded, but also very, very convenient to Asheville and all that Asheville has to offer. I'm Mike. I'm Joe. And this is our retirement home. Some of the client's early requests were really based more along the programmatic things that they were looking for as far as the types of spaces. And of course the property uh, lended itself to a lot of dramatic views and uh, some southern exposure. So taking advantage of those types of things were where they started uh, and what they brought to the table to, to our firm. I'm Duncan McPherson and I'm the architect. A retirement home to me, when I think of that term, when you use that term, I immediately think of retirement communities or something. And that wasn't anything we were interested in. A retirement home to me uh, means being able to have all of your living space, all of your needs on one area. The fact that you've got your, your kitchen, dining, bedrooms, bathrooms, laundry rooms, everything on, in, on one floor. Some of the key design elements that retirement homes should possess uh, include planning for accessibility, uh, even if it's not needed in the beginning. There are some ADA requirements that we looked at that do relate to clear floor areas, uh, minimizing any transitions in the floor. Uh, one of the things that we also did is putting enough blocking in place in the walls for accommodating future grab bars. Uh, often our clients don't really want to feel like they're in an institutional space, don't want to feel that eminent uh, potential need for handicap accessibility. So planning for it without having to put it in place initially really helps save them costs in the long run and allows them to live in the house the way they want to today. We knew we wanted to live here for the rest of our lives and I'm like everybody else probably I think you know I've got a long life to go and so we were looking for a place that my wife and I can be comfortable with, but we can also uh, easily entertain and um, and just be a part of uh, really a part of the landscape. This part of Madison County really is uh, the vernacular architecture is based on uh, farm structures and barns. Now we didn't want to emulate that or imitate that, but we saw that as a starting point for how the overall aesthetic of the house really wanted to look. The board and batten siding and the metal roof were probably the most direct uh, ways that we tried to integrate that aesthetic with the vernacular architecture and buildings that are in this area. The kitchen is laid out to encourage interaction around the island. The kitchen tends to be the center of the, the modern house nowadays, so that really becomes a focal point from a social standpoint as well as a functional standpoint. Uh, what we also try to do is set the refrigerator to the side because that tends to be one of the more bulky and, and a little bit harder to integrate elements in a kitchen. So it helps clean up the elevation of that, the cabinetry but it also allows it to be very accessible to other people in the, in the house, so it's not interfering with people at the sink or at the cooktop. One of Joe's passions is books, and so finding a way to incorporate that book collection into the house was one of the, one of the design challenges they brought to us at the beginning. Uh, again, we didn't want to dedicate a huge room or a lot of square footage to it, so the entryway became a way of, of creating some display space, uh, and also activating the space by putting those, that book collection and the cabinetry in what could otherwise be a, a somewhat boring hallway. One of the most satisfying things about being an architect and working on projects like this is the amount of uh, direct interaction we have with the clients and the level of detail that their everyday lives uh, comes into play with how we solve some of their problems for them. And seeing a client happy in their home that they plan on living in for the rest of their lives is, is just really one of the most rewarding parts about being an architect and working in this field. <laughs>